Hi, I'm Ali March and Single Malt TV is coming to you straight from the beautiful Manly Beach. Now, I know most tastings aren't done by the water on a sunny summer's day, but here at Single Malt TV, we like to give you a different experience. And if you get bored of my babbling about my love of whiskey, well, you'll just enjoy the view instead. Today I'm going to be chatting about one of Scotland's top selling whiskies, Famous Grouse. Perth wine merchant William Glogue started blending back in the 1860s to warm the cockles of the hunting, fishing and shooting set. Then in 1896 his nephew Matthew created the Grouse Whiskey, which he later called Famous Grouse because it became so popular. The bottle is gently curved, reminiscent of 19th century whisky bottles and has 1800 embossed on the neck, symbolising the two centuries of heritage and excellence. Now, it doesn't have an age on it like the other grouse whiskies because of the marrying of the finest malt whiskies. Every batch age can be totally different. Sometimes the master distiller may decide that a seven-year-old whisky sits really well with a 10 or a 15-year-old. I remember hearing something from the master blender at Edrington's and he said, I think his name was uh, John Ramsey, he said, it's like building a soccer team. You've got to start with a really, really strong core and then you can match your stars around it. If you don't have that strong core, then you've got nothing. So let's see if he kicked a goal with this one. I know, I still haven't got the right tasting glass. Sorry, Charlie but I'm also sitting on a picnic rug with bare feet, so I'm totally uncouth. Now, I remember the first time I smelt this, it really reminded me of my granny. She does like her whiskies, but it's also because of the hint of lavender and sweet sherry, which was always a staple in her liquor cabinet. I also get a smokiness, but, but that doesn't remind me of my granny. The blend of the two fine whiskies, the Macallan and the Highland Park, really give it a nice depth, but it's really easy going and smooth. Again, I get that, uh, the gentle sweetness, but the sherry notes from the Macallan aren't really coming through as much as they did in the, in the nose, in the smell. There's also a peatiness, which I think comes from the Highland Park but it's not too dominant and overpowering and there's a really, really nice balance with a light spiciness. Now, I'm really enjoying this neat, but you can actually add a few blocks of ice. What I find it does is just mutes the sweetness a little bit. But with one of its brothers in the family of grouse whiskies, black grouse, don't add ice because what it does is it closes down the flavors totally. So have that one neat. Sitting here on my picnic rug on a summer's evening, after a hot day, I may feel like a refreshing great long. For that one, you've got to start with a decent pour of the famous grouse, add loads of ice, some fresh lime, and some chilled ginger beer. Mwah, beautiful. Well, I hope you found that a little bit interesting, or at least enjoyed the beautiful Manly Beach. Please leave us some comments and let us know what you'd like us to cover or taste next time. From everyone here at Single Malt TV, we hope to see you again soon.